Hey folks, Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. One more time. What I'm going over here in just this sort of introduction is tomorrow I am going out with Aaron. Aaron's been on many videos of mine. He's a really good customer. He's a really willing learner. And there has been so many croakers at the Mayport Jetties. And a lot of them are the perfect bait size croaker. And what do they bait for? For me, they're bait for giant speckled trout. That's always the goal. It's been years since I went out, caught croakers, put them in the live well, took them to some trouty kind of spots, and fished them. Well, guess what? Aaron and I are going to do that tomorrow. And it's in response to, you know, I did an old video from years ago catching giant trout on croakers. It was very popular. And what I did is I reintroduced that because I've got so many videos on different topics, but the average person does not go to your channel. I can tell from the comments. I guess all YouTubers have that problem. Is people see a video, they watch it. They don't know any of the history. They don't follow you. So really anymore, I'm kind of doing, um, I'm going to do videos that are more just, you don't have to follow. You don't have to follow along. I brought back this video that I'm going to play for you just the beginning, uh, to introduce people to the fact that not only in the Gulf of Mexico, like Texas and Louisiana and places like that, small croakers are giant trout bait. Uh, not only there. And I proved it with the video, the original one that I did years ago where I couldn't even catch any small croakers. They were all huge, I mean, as far as what you really want for bait, and they still worked. So, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you a little bit of the video that I uploaded, or re-uploaded, not long ago. I don't know how long ago it was, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna show you a bit of it um, the link to that video will be in the description below. But I since then have had a few comments. I had some guys come up to me when when I had a charter and we were we were float rig fishing or something, and they said that they couldn't catch croakers or something. All I remember is they were in a small boat that had Lenco electric trim tabs on the back, which was kind of amazing. You don't see that on smaller John boats or uh, what was it? It was either a Carolina skiff or aluminum John boat or something. But either way. So I get a lot of comments. I got another comment from another fishing guide just yesterday morning at the bait shop about croakers and big trout. So it obviously interests people. And if all goes right tomorrow, it's fishing, it's not catching, you know, we're going to go through the motions because I literally had on one of the videos, either the old video or the one that I brought back, I think it was the one I brought back, um, about catching giant trout on croakers. 
a guy commented, so when are we actually going to see how do you catch croakers? I was a little taken back by that because number one, no matter if you're a charter customer most of the time, somebody commenting on YouTube, an email or whatever it is, I never have enough. Nobody ever gives you any information. Just the, 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 the question, when are we going to see how do you catch croakers for bait? I don't know anything about that person. So, I don't know. I mean, how could you not know how to catch croakers is kind of what I'm thinking. If you're a, if you're a Florida fisherman... You know, and especially in Jacksonville, it's you go to where croakers are, and you fish for them. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how to. But after tomorrow, when this video gets all said and done, I guess that will be answered. So me and Aaron are going to do it. We're going to put our best effort into it. It's going to be a weekend. Aaron can only go on weekends. So it'll be a Sunday morning when we get started. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. You know, I, I really don't like weekends. I don't like being around a lot of boats. I don't like wakes. I don't like traffic on the river. All that impedes, I believe. Uh, many times your fish catching abilities. So, all right, let me show you a little bit. I'm just going to hold the camera up and sort of narrate a little bit of the video that I brought back. And I'm going to just show you a part of it. There's going to be some glare on the screen here. This is the video where it says, What you're about to see is a patience game. In Northeast Florida, the first challenge is catching croakers, small enough. Preferably, the perfect size is four inches. Keep them extremely happy and lively. That's what you got to do, and I'll tell you what's going to do it is my oxygen system on my boat. Here's another little tip. Rod should have a very light tip. I like a seven foot six ugly stick. Light action striper casting rod. You must not treat a truly giant speckled trout like some rubber-lipped redfish. There's no yanking and cranking on a gator trout or you'll just rip them their tender mouths. Net time is crucial moment. Never ever try to lift a giant trout out with the rod. The gator trout hunting isn't for everybody, but a true angler gets it. Here we go. This is years ago, folks. Four and six pounders. There's a 26 incher. I got had to release them because the state of Florida doesn't allow you to really be a big trout fisherman. You could fish all you want, but you certainly can't keep them. You get one over 20 inches. Now this one, I just caught. I keep talking about getting the croakers. That's a big one. I believe that one was, I think, 28 and a half inches long. That's a big trout. That's a big trout. I believe he was, I think, we'll see here. I'm measuring them. 28 and a half inches, that's right. Yep. Now that's a big trout for Jacksonville, Florida in the middle of the summer in the July heat. So, I mean, this is just one day where I concentrated all my efforts. And 
that's the size of the croakers. That's a small one. I couldn't catch any small ones, real small ones. That's bigger than my hand. That's bigger than my hand, and they will suck that thing right up. So, that's when I left in the morning. All right, so there's some more that ate croakers, and you sort of get it, right? All right, so that was the video. How to catch giant speckled sea trout. And it said specifically, read video description. Well, there's the first problem. If you're watching on a phone, nobody even knows where the video description is. So hopefully tomorrow you're going to see how we're going to catch the croakers. You're going to see how we're going to bait, bait them up. Um, how we're going to fish them, the tackle. I'm going to go over everything again because it's really all about steps and things you need to do. It's like anything else when you're trying to go for trophy fish. You've got to be there around here. It's about right tide, right location, time of day. I mean, it can be a lot of factors. And the reason that probably a lot of people don't catch big trout, uh, I'd say around here, commonly, you know, people run into big trout around here. They run into them. They don't catch them just commonly. I mean, I, you know, have customers catch four and five, six pounders pretty commonly. And it's because I pretty much have dedicated myself to it. And so hopefully there's going to be part two of this. This will be the actual fishing and doing it will be part two. So this is just an introductory of hopefully what's to come. The good, the bad, the ugly. I'm going to put it all in there when we leave tomorrow. So thanks for watching this little bit of intro and ex explanation of what's coming up. So thanks for watching. And uh, click that notification bell so you know when to come back. So if you're subscribed, you will get the next video because it'll take me days to edit it and put it up and upload it and all that stuff because um, especially when I'm doing video on the boat I mean I'm the chief bottle washer cameraman producer uh, editor um, everything so don't forget to do that make sure you come back and look for that video thanks for watching I'll see you then